Hello, so today we're at Beeman Park in Jolton, Tennessee. It's my first time here. Um, we're hiking the Laurel Woods Trail. We're doing the short co connector, so I don't have six hours today. I just am now getting out here. Luna, of course, is gonna pull me for the first couple miles. Um, this should be a two and a half hour loop or something. Really beautiful out here. I should have brought my trekking poles. I didn't think it would be intense, but it seems though as though it's gonna be a lot of up and down. I hear that Luna is choking herself to death. It's her favorite thing to do. I mean, at least she's getting double the workout by pulling me and herself. But uh, I know it can't feel good. <laughs> but that's what she's gonna do. So I don't know if you've ever heard of it. There's this outlet store called Gabe's. It used to be called Gabriel Brothers. Um, I was there one day and saw this running leash, the ones that go around your waist, and it was $4.99. So I got it, and oh, best $5 I've ever spent. Honestly, it has been amazing. Like, I don't even care if it does break because it was $5, and... Oh my gosh, it's making my life so much easier. I went on my first backpacking trip this past week and was able to use my trekking poles with her still attached to me. It was so nice. Weather's just great today. It's January 26th um, in Tennessee, and it's like 65 degrees outside today. I just, you never know. You really never know what day you're gonna have in Tennessee. The weather changes all the time. But I had to get out here because I'd be silly if I didn't. foliage enjoying that very much I can't wait till spring I need some life back in Tennessee but it is nice to see all these overlooks in the winter Ooh. it's a beautiful trail so far relatively easy um, we'll see we just hit the loop part so we branched off We'll loop back around. If I end up having knee problems, it's definitely going to be her fault. <laughs> Especially pulling me on the downs. What is it? What is it? God, the sky is so blue. So pretty.
just stop for the first potty break for me, water break for her. And usually, I mean, I have this little collapsible bowl for her to put her water in. But I also have this hydration pack. And instead of letting me pour it into her bowl, she just drank it right out of the, the hydration pouch. So honestly, I might not ever have to bring this again. <laughs> Kidding, but for real, that was much easier than pouring it and probably losing some in that process. But it's good. Um, it says it'll take about three hours, I think, and all the signs. I mean, I think we're hiking relatively fast. I don't know. We're like 30 minutes in, so I'm assuming I have about two and a half hours left. Maybe a little less, but who knows. Um, so far, it's beautiful. Really not bad at all, like, difficulty-wise. Um, we'll definitely come back. My dad's not big into hiking, but I'm gonna definitely bring him here because this is a beautiful, beautiful hike. And I think he would enjoy this as like uh, a beginner hike for him. seen one piece of trash well maintained honestly I appreciate a well-marked trail um, especially hiking by myself but even with others I went on a trip a couple weeks ago thought it was just gonna be you know a simple day hike just had this little hydration pack definitely should have come more prepared but it was about an hour and a half away it was in Winchester Tennessee it was beautiful and all um, it was just not well marked at all. We ended up getting lost um, a couple miles in. And I mean to tell you, we were going straight down a mountain. So, I mean, we had to go straight up at some point, you know. We ended up getting lost. We were following the water for a little bit because we knew there was a waterfall at the end of the trail. But we were not risking it. Honestly, I'm glad we didn't because we got there pretty late in the day. And... We didn't realize it was going to be like a six hour hike so we started making our way up the mountain through brush like it was not the path um but we didn't know what to do we were kind of having a mini panic attack but we finally found the trail markers again it honestly um scarred me a little bit and yeah so i appreciate a well-marked trail <laughs> all that to say yeah i don't know if you let your dogs drink in the water but I do. Oh my gosh. That's a lovely sound. So beautiful. like someone's following me. Well, who could it be? Just right at the two hour point. Um, I'm hoping this shortcut comes up soon. This is by far the prettiest point we've come to. Well, first I said it was easy. Now I would say, it's relatively difficult, <laughs> but 
I'm gonna be sore for sure. There's a few ups and a few downs, but I think the ups are what really get me. Besides my shins, the downs really, really hurt my shins. I know they're gonna be barking tomorrow. But yeah, for now, I'll keep on trudging. say it was easy at first but after it's all said and done <laughs> it was pretty difficult making it back up to the trail on it so pretty that was perfect timing if I do say so myself perfect timing oh man oh man oh man you got me you really got me, huh? This is so beautiful though. Come on, it's only like 30 minutes from my house. Uh, jolted. It's nice to make it back to my car. I think she's ready too. She's gonna pass out when we get in there. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, she's literally done for. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I killed you, baby. I'm so sorry. <sighs> she seems to be a happy camper though. She needed it. Thank you.